on the difference between what is a rectangle and what is a parallelogram. I'll give you an example, okay? Um, a parallelogram would look like this. All right, well, we definitely know what a rectangle is. Let's, let's draw one of those first. A rectangle is, let's see, insert drawing, simply something like this. Everyone agree? Actually, a rectangle is that or this. You know, I just realized something is. But according to our definition, wouldn't this be a rectangle? Isn't that a rectangle as well? Aren't those both rectangles? Ah, because according to our definition, a square has all right angles and the sides parallel to each other, sides across from each other, are the same length. That's a rectangle. And yes, it is a square, but a square is also a rectangle. A square is just a special rectangle. Does that make sense? It's a, it's a rectangle that happens to have all four sides to be the same length. Whereas a rectangle doesn't need to have all four sides be the same length. Does that make sense? All right, now I'm going to throw this one out here too. What is a parallelogram? Well, a parallelogram is kind of like our rectangle, but here I'll show you what a picture of it looks like, and then you can help me come up with a definition. Because I'm sure that you were told what all of this stuff was before, but the thing is, um, you weren't. You don't necessarily. Maybe you didn't remember the uh, definition. Here's here's what a, a parallelogram would look like. All right. So we've got a parallelogram, and the sides that are crossed from each other, all sides are parallel to each other. Well, maybe not all sides. We should say sides that are crossed from each other are the same length and parallel to each other. I like that definition better. And parallel to each other. OK. But Julia, and actually, class, what is a parallelogram? It says, all right, two pairs of parallel sides and we have the angles are obtuse and acute. But what about the angles? Are they all the same? Not all the same angles. In fact, not right angles. Or not, it doesn't have to be uh, right angles. It's just the only definition that we have for a parallelogram is that sides are the same across the board. Our sides that are across from each other are the same length and also parallel to each other. So here's our definitions, folks. A parallelogram can be this looking thing, a diamond looking thing. It could also be a rectangle and a square. Because the word parallel basically means is they're parallel to each other. Sides that are across from each other are parallel. Now, a rectangle happens to be a very special parallelogram. It says um, that all the four angles of that parallelogram are 90 degrees. And a very special category of, of par parallelogram and a rectangle is a square. Does that kind of make sense? So let's, let's, let's come up with uh, these ideas real quick. Okay, wait one second. My thing is messing up. Arg. Come on, Google, move. All right. Anyway, I hope that makes sense to you folks. I'm not going to beat that one to the pulp, but I think that that's good. My computer's freezing. I can't stop the jing. Can you folks hear me all right? <laughs> 